This video is sponsored by Mammoth Interactive. Take your skills to the next level at mammothinteractive.com. Check the links down below for some amazing deals. Hey everybody, welcome to this video. This video I'm gonna show you how to make some bioluminescent mushrooms. So I made a video on how to make big mushrooms and I also made another video uh, that showed you how to make emissive materials. And one of the cool things I really like about, um, uh, one of the things I really like about nature is bioluminescence. And if you don't know what bioluminescence is, is when nature or things uh, light up. Like a firefly, there's some algae that lights up too. There's a lot of things that light up, but we can actually do that with mushrooms. So I've gone ahead and I've downloaded a lot of the uh, mush, uh, a lot of the mushrooms uh, <laughs> from Mega Scans, and you can just basically go and you can kind of just drag in a spotted red mushroom. And I'm just gonna drag this guy in here. And as you can see, this mushroom is not very big. So maybe we'll make this spotted mushroom a little bit bigger, maybe five times as big, all right? And I'm just gonna undo that here um, because it was not uh, set here, okay? So let's do that five times. All right, so that's probably a bit too much. Two times, okay, so two times is good. Uh, now we can basically do this with as many mushrooms as we want here. Looks like the grid's a bit too big. So I'm just gonna move that down a bit. And we might as well just get one other mushroom in here. Right, and then um, there we go. And then let's move that guy out here and maybe give this to three, okay? Cause that mushroom's a little bit lower, okay? So basically we have two mushrooms. That's pretty much all we need at this point. So. All you have to do, um, and by the way, if you're looking how to do emissive materials, they're actually quite easy, but basically all you gotta do is switch everything to uh, an emissive material, right? Uh, purple, and you know what, just for fun, let's drag out another mushroom here. This one looks like it's really small, but nevertheless, let's uh, let's kind of move it over here. And, and, uh, that's, and that's pretty much all you need to do um, here. And it's actually quite easy. Um, Emissive, all right, and I'll give this one a red color. Okay, so you get the idea, all right? So um, if I hop into my emissive materials, right? Um, and then I think I just put it in here. So emissive materials are quite easy to do, by the way. Uh, you can basically add in, um, and I'm just gonna make this actually really bright. Um, but you basically add in a color to the base color and then you multiply uh, it by an emissive color. I have a whole tutorial on that, so you can check that out. But basically, I'm going to uh, jack all these values up to 500 and then I'm going to copy and paste them. And let's see what happens after that. So what I've done here is I've actually um, made the purple one about 1,000 here. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy these out a bit. Uh, maybe copy them each five times. Really not that complicated uh, here. And so we'll just kind of move these out here. Two, three, four, and then five. And that's not the one I want. I want this guy. And then so, you know, we're going to do that one. And you basically just want to kind of fill in the gaps. Three, four. And it would be cool to have a rainbow um, it would definitely be cool to have a rainbow one. So more than just these colors here, but nevertheless, I think that's probably pretty good. Uh, I could probably maybe make one more purple here and then one more blue. All right, so there we go. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to, to basically kill the lights. So the skylight here, um, and it's actually the light source. There you go. Okay, so that's there we go. You can see this is starting to look pretty interesting here. Okay, so let's uh, let's undo that. And lastly, let's just kind of find all of those mushrooms I just put in here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all these and then I'm going to group them up. Right. So we click on them and we don't want to merge the actors, but we wanted to simply group them. So right click. And there is um, a group. It's on the merge actors here. And it's right down here. Okay, so we group them up and now you can basically create a, well, a forest floor. 
this here. Now what you can also do is you can also select all of the groups here. And then you can also get this groups regroup. Okay, so basically, we have more of these here. And, you know, the other thing about mega scans stuff in particular is that there is no collision. So I'll be able to walk around these mushrooms. Um, and then they can actually go outside here. Now, of course, if you're making a game, uh, you also want to make sure that these mushrooms here, uh, you know, they don't, well, they don't really go outside. Um, you know, I'm, and I'm just doing this mostly for effect here. So I'm just going to see if I can click on one of these. Yeah. And then I'm just going to kind of cover the floor. And you can see that it actually does a really good job of illuminating, right? Now, if you really wanted to jack any of these up here, uh, you you could uh, you can make the emissive quite big. But there you go. I think that's actually more than enough. Uh, but there you go. You now have a bunch of bioluminescent mushrooms in your game. And this is something that's really interesting because, um, you know, it's, it's something that looks pretty good. Um, and it was pretty easy to do, frankly. So again, anything with the emissive material is really, really easy to do. So there you go. You're now in a patch of, um, of bioluminescent mushrooms. Now, the only other thing that I can mention here is you definitely want to group some of these and then rotate them right um you know and then if you rotate them it won't look as stock because you can kind of see that some of them they kind of line up and then kind of move them around here but that obviously takes a little bit more time but you know if i just kind of play in this area here you see this area looks a little bit more organic but there you can see like the the mushrooms are lined up and we don't really want that we want them to look a little bit more random and so in order to do that all you need to do is rotate it fairly easy stuff all right, so that concludes this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Hey everyone, thanks for watching this video. If you really like this video, you can buy our content down below. It really does help us out when you buy our content down below because this channel doesn't do a Patreon. Instead, we sell our digital products down below. If you really like this channel, you can subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. We release 20 to 60 hours of fresh new content per month every single month. We release everything from Adobe tutorials to 3D modeling tutorials to game development tutorials to machine learning tutorials to web development tutorials and more. We're constantly pushing the bounds in e-learning and if we can get to 10,000 paid subscribers per month, we can become the best e-learning company on the planet. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video.